Hey everybody, it's Chris Vibrick, the director of the National House of Prayer, coming to you today from Ottawa. Well, it's been, here we are, September, the beginning of September, uh, back to school, back to church, back to programs, back to everything. Everything is all loading up, conferences are coming, prayer summits are coming, all kinds of things are coming. You know, recently we were away in uh, Southwest Ontario, and we started to hear really clearly a, a word to us, and that had to do with stirring up, stirring up the gifts that are within us, or fan into flame. We see that in the beginning of uh, of the the Timothys. You know, the Apostle Paul is encouraging Timothy to fan into flame or stir up the gifts that were imparted to him by the laying on of hands. And so, I want to encourage you to stir up the gifts. Those things that have been lying dormant for a season, I want to encourage you to stir them up. Let me read something here from Romans chapter 12. I just love this section and it's about gifts, but I want to just give us a posture. Oh, my thing just blew away here. Hold on. For the great, by the grace given to me, I say to everyone, do you not think of yourself more highly than you ought? but rather think of yourself in sober judgment in accordance to the measure of the faith God has given you. Just as each, just as each of us has one body and many members and each member do not have all the same function. In so Christ, we who are many in one body and each member belongs to each other we have different gifts according to the grace given to us if a man's gift is prophesying let him use it in proportion to his faith if it is serving let him serve if it is teaching let him teach if it is encouragement let him encourage if it is contributing to the needs of others let him give generously if it is bringing leadership, let him govern diligently. And if it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. I love this passage. So what is the gifts? What are the gifts that the Lord has given you? And have they been dormant? Have they been dormant for a season? I want to encourage you, especially those that have been in a place of winter and dormancy, to fan into flame those gifts to dust them off, to get them re-engaged. So I want to encourage you in this season, it's the new year according to the Hebrew calendar. We're coming into a new year. This new year, fan into fame, flame, dust off those gifts, get them off and get them functioning again. Limber them up because it is a season you're going to be needed. You're going to be called upon. Ask the Lord where you can fit in. And if you're just sitting on the sidelines, I encourage you, get in. Get in the game. Get in the fight. Get in the river. My name is Chris Byrig, the director of the National House of Prayer, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.